Oh, Canada. The run continues for Canada. They are off to the semifinals after beating Venezuela on penalties. What a chaotic, frantic game. Let's run the intro and talk about the historic moment for Canada. Give me the right on. What if I told Canadians last year when they lost to Jamaica 3-2 at home in the Nations League quarterfinal and said, yeah, you guys are going to play in a semi-final of a Copa America. They said, Michael, what is the strain that you are smoking? Because fast forward eight to nine months and look at where Canada are. They are being conable teams. They are keeping clean sheets and now advancing to the semi-final. No, this is miraculous almost in a way. Yeah, they got the talent Canada. Of course, they got Alfonso Davis to Jonathan David to Kyle Lorene to everybody. Stack you, you name it. But the work Jesse Marsh has done, they've only conceded two goals. No, sorry, three goals in this tournament. Today's goal was ridiculous golazo from Rondon. I mean, the bully ball on Bombito, then the chip it over Crepo, where Crepo, I don't know what he's doing. Crepo was stuck on an island somewhere. I don't know where he's going, but it was a fantastic goal from Rondon. Just bully ball. That is bully ball at its finest. But Canada, they should have never gone to that point. This game should have been done after the first half. The amount of wasted chances to keep Venezuela alive. It's like they had dead prey, but they kept the prey alive just so it could suffer more. That's what Canada were doing with Venezuela. Because Jonathan David to Richie Larea to Schaffelberg, they all had chances in this game. All in the first half. This game should have never gone to penalties. That's kind of the frustrating part of your Canada. You're like, we had to suffer through penalties, but it almost tastes even sweeter to win it on penalties and to beat Venezuela. Before we go more into Canada, Venezuela, it's been a good Copa America. They obviously achieved history, topping a Copa America group for the first time ever, getting nine points. It's been a historic campaign for them. But you saw in this game, Osorio and Ferrasi were getting stretched all over the field. Even Navarro at left back, they were struggling big time with just the pace and the movement off the ball from Canada. I thought they defensively, they struggled. The only guy from Venezuela in the defensive line that can have his head up is Araburu. This guy is a ball. I mean, defensively locked down, even though he should have given a penalty to Schaffelberg. That is a penalty. The guy dragged his shirt and his arm and it wasn't given a penalty. If I was Canadian, I would have been pissed off about that whole situation. Their midfield couldn't really create. I didn't see the best of Yanhel Herrera. Martinez, I thought, was good in the midfield. And so did Dino. The guy is a baller, but he got locked down. Alistair Johnston is going to have his keys and so did Dino in his back pocket. Because Johnston did a fantastic job on Soto Dino. We know how good of a player Soto Dino is. But the bright spots for Venezuela is Rondon. I mean, the guy is just a beast, man. Even at 34 years old, the way he was playing throughout this Copa America, he will be in the team of the tournament. Because of how good he's been. Romo as well in goal. And Aramburu. Those are some positives for Venezuela. But you can see, even when they have possession of the ball, they don't really have the creativity. If Soto Dino is not doing well, or Bayo. Who from the midfield can really create? And Yana Herrera was supposed to be that, but he didn't have the greatest game. But I can't really have any negatives to say about Venezuela. Like, this is a side that are still progressing. Batista is doing an incredible job, but they just got beat by a superior team today. They did. And that's why I said before this game, it is going to be a 50-50 game. Both teams are playing well. Yeah, you know, you can say Canada. They're just lacking the finishing in the group stage. They kind of got lucky. No, Canada are a good team. Because Jesse Marsh, god damn. Is he doing an incredible job? I mean, the guy has not even managed 10 games and he's doing this? Taking his team to a semi-final? Not Mexico, not USA, Canada. Ca Canada. This, this is like one of the greatest tournaments ever. Yeah, they won the Gold Cup when 2000, 2001. Who cares? It's the Gold Cup. That tournament is only for USA and Mexico and it's always held in the United States. I can't take that tournament serious. As an American myself, I can't. The Copa America, that's a different story. That's history. That's where you get the best of the best from South America. And for Canada to do this, this is one of the greatest sporting achievements in their history. Yeah, the women's team won the Olympics. It just shows you 
the football in Canada is just getting better and better. And I think there's now expectation growing even more and even more. And heading into a World Cup in two years, they're in the best position by far of all the three hosts. By far. They got the players and now they got the manager. All they need to just develop is some goddamn finishing. You cannot, if you want to kill off teams, the way they just kept Venezuela alive in this game, I said, Canada, you're going to destroy yourself. Canadians would have been so pissed off at the end of this game had they lost. Because this is a game you simply cannot lose. Especially in tournament football, you, you have to just kill off the opponent. So, Jonathan Dave and Kyle Lorraine, they're good players. But please, get some shooting boots on, guys. Go, go to the training ground and just have drill after drill after drill of just shooting it into the back of the net. Because clearly, it ain't working out. That pass that Schaffelberg gave to Jonathan David when he's one on one. I, I could not believe he didn't even hit the target. Not even the target. Poor touch and poor finishing. It's like he was so lackluster and he's just so calm about it, but he had no belief that he was going to score the goal. That was really poor from Jonathan David. But I got to say, Crepo, Bombito, Cornelius. That spine is what Jesse Marsh is trying to build. He's trying to build a good spine with this team. And those three players have stepped up big time. Yeah, Bombito got done for the goal. I think they played a great game again. I thought they played great. And Crepo didn't have to make any amazing saves compared to what Canada's attack was generating. And I think that speaks volumes to the work that Estacchio and Cornelius and Bombito and Crepo have done. And Alistair Johnson at right back. I mean, he was a lockdown machine. And now Canada are off to the semifinals. Think of, think of those words, people. This is not the semifinals of a gold cup. This is a semifinals of the Copa America. I want to see good teams progress. And I want to see teams that haven't had a great history in football. Because everybody wants to talk about, oh, football is dying. Where's the best teams in the world? Where's the Italians? Where's the Brazilians? Where's this? Where's that? Football is a growing sport. As teams and federations start to get their act together. And finally, the Canadian FA got their act together and hired a good manager. You can just see that there's talent all over the world. To see then Canada rise again after qualifying to the World Cup. I love it. I love it. I want them to do well. I want Mexico to do well. I want USA to do well. I want Uzbekistan. I want Jordan. I want uh, Morocco. You name it. Comoros. All of these countries to do well. Because this is an international sport. And for Canada to do this in a South American tournament. Ooh -wee. Drake is about to write a new song. And it ain't the sixes. It's the Canadian national team. And now they go up against Argentina again in the semifinals. If you're Canada, you have to look at the way they played against Argentina and said, if they can just have their finishing on, and we saw Argentina at the end of the game against Ecuador, they were really scrambling. Canada have a chance here. They do. They just have to be clinical in front of goal. Now, Cornelius is uh, suspended for the game, so that's a bit of a shame. But Canada are playing good football. Yeah, it wasn't like the perfect performance, but people need to understand, international football, you don't have the time to prepare your team. You can only make those small, minor, detailed changes within a game day. So for Jesse Marsh to do this, you can just see how much it means to him. The guy is doing a massive, massive job, and the players are believing in him. Effie is believing in him, and now the fans are really believing in the Jesse Marsh hype. I loved him at RB Leipzig. I loved him at RB Salzburg. I think he's a really good manager. And now he's really going to take Canada from here to there. Can you imagine if Canada beat Argentina? That would be a massive L on Gondobol. And Canada have now just faced Gondobol teams. Hey, you know what? You know what they should do in Canada and the Canadian FA? Screw CONCACAF. No, no, no. Screw CONCACAF. We'll pay for the long flights. We'll want, we want to see Argentina play in Vancouver. We want to see Venezuela play in Edmonton. Go switch to Konobo. Switch it. What, what, what's the point in playing CONCACAF? Switch to Konobo. Because clearly, the Canadian national team do better against Konobo teams. And I like how, even though the referee was so... I, I'm sorry. As a neutral as, as I am, the referee was so biased towards Venezuela in this game. Throw in where Romo should have got the yellow card. The penalty in the first half. But the fact that Canada could overcome, you know, the refereeing debacle and still win this game and keep their mindset still in the match, not get flustered by all of those decisions, speaks volumes of the mental strength this team have. Maybe they would have been flustered back in last year. Now, it's a different team. And unfortunately for Venezuela, they just didn't have their shooting boots on and the penalties, some horrible, horrible penalties. I mean, a stock to Miller. I mean, they were terrible penalties.
but they stepped up when it mattered most Canada and they're off to the semifinals against Argentina. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Venezuelans, I know it's a pretty sad day, but you can still be happy about your team. The ultimate goal is to qualify for the World Cup. Like Sotendinho talked about, I don't want to win a Copa America. I want to get my country to the World Cup. Well, Sotendinho, if you have those words, you better qualify. So let me know your thoughts, Venezuelans, in the comments down below. And if you're Canadian, I mean, where does this rank now as one of the great achievements in Canadian football history? This is insane. Insane. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more Copa America and Euro content. We're soon off to the semifinals, people. But we still got two more quarterfinals to go in the Copa America. Colombia against Panama and the big one, Uruguay and Brazil. We'll be doing match reactions for those games. So join me for that. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. Till next time. Adiós.